lifeboat. The flagship of a 24-hour search and rescue service run by the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. Famous for racing head-on into storms when lives are at stake. The Severn class is capable of operating in the worst sea conditions. It may be the best lifeboat in the business, so but naval event. architect Federico Prini believes he can make it even better if he can get a detailed look at the kind of abuse it takes. The RNLI crews are able to reach people in all kinds of situations. And to do so, it's fundamental that they can rely on the safest and most reliable lifeboats. He's trying to understand whether the current design and materials are the best they can be. Today, Prini and his team want to put it to the test at the Wave Lab at Newcastle University. This gives us the ability to measure and record what would be very difficult, if not impossible, to measure in the real world, but without breaking any actual lifeboat. They start off with a small version of the lifeboat, a lot smaller. We monitor drag, resistance, motions and loads and a range of speeds and a variety of weight patterns. Okay, heave post in place. And what we're interested in is understanding its behaviour in terms of motions and loads in a variety of scenarios. First, they do a quick test without waves to make sure everything is set up properly. It goes nicely down the tank, so it looks fine as a first test in calm water. Then they begin. Three, two, one, carriage of weight. Both handles the waves with ease. It's riding the waves very nicely and the pitch and heave look quite well. As we expected, we could see the model riding the waves smoothly because no impacts were occurring onto the hull in that case. They change a few settings and it's back in the water. Carriage of weight. This time, the waves are bigger and closer together. You can even see the bow emerging from uh, uh, the waves and impacting onto the next waves. The boat slams into the waves with force, which could damage the hull. The third test shows us there are particular waves and speeds that cause the bow of the model to emerge from the water and then impact onto the water, causing very high accelerations and loads. to confirm if what they're seeing in the lab actually happens at sea. Time to put a full-size Severn to the test. A number of sensors are being fitted on the boat to measure motions, accelerations and the loads due to wave impacts. We're looking at the range of speeds and in a variety of sea conditions from calm to rough. The boat battles the waves. We're capturing the behaviour of a natural lifeboat in a real wave environment. And by doing so, we account for the regular nature of the sea state. And once again, the Severn makes it look easy. Although it will take pretty time to go through all the data, the results could lead to changes from how the boats are maintained to how they're built, and hopefully help extend the life of existing boats. We all expect that the knowledge developed through this research away. will contribute to further improving the design of search and rescue craft as well as their operation. In the meantime, the Severn will continue doing what it's designed to do, which is rescuing people in rough conditions while keeping its crew safe.